Carrots basically, what is that? That is my question. Like... I mean, before we just get into anything, it just looks like a bloody boomerang. Like, what the fuck's that? Hello and welcome to another episode of the SNG podcast. Now this is going to be a bit of a different one because I just want to get my opinion on something very important. So about, I don't know, but anyway, um, it was some time. It was about in between the times of 10pm and midnight GMT and the WSA announced the um, the new G, um, Generation 5 Matt and Timer and I was excited, you know, I was pretty excited. And I looked at the timer itself and, um, yeah, the um, difference is it has four touchpads instead of two touchpads. At first I just thought, what? I mean, okay. But then when Kaylee mentioned something else, I was pretty distraught. Well, I say distraught, pretty disappointed. It was the fact that the WSSA thought that um, people were having were being scratched many times because of the way that they stopped the um, after stacks. So, for example, um, I don't know, let's say you stacked a 363. Um, and it looked like you held the cup, but you didn't hold the cup. And quite blatantly, it looks like you didn't hold the cup. But the WSSA are like, no, you held the cup, that's a scratch. And now, now they're trying to prevent it by introducing this new G5 timer. Um, well, this, I say this timer, it's a little, it's a boomerang thing. But yeah, they're just trying to make it fairer, I, well, fairer, I imagine. Also, the fact that Kaylee called it the evolution of sports stacking in the video is quite unusual since that if we're using flat starts and stops instead of like that, then that's going to slow people down, like, quite a bit. Anyway, moving to my next point about this timer. Um, it has two modes. These modes are two pad mode and four pad mode. Two pad mode is where you use the two, like, um, pads which you would usually use if you were stacking on a G4 timer. Um, and... The fact that this is used for cubing instead of stacking is beyond me. And then 4-pad mode is obviously used for stacking. And also, just a bit of a point to the special stackers category. Um, this, this, this is quite bad. Because it's as if the WSSA is ignoring its special stackers within the community. Because what if a stacker doesn't have thumbs? For example, he was born with a disability or something like that, without thumbs, yeah, he still stacks. Like, I guess that is possible. Like, I mean, yeah. How how would he use the timer? How, how would he or she use the timer if they didn't have thumbs or didn't have, have hands, yet they still wanted to compete in sports stacking? Like, WSSA, fix your equipment. Also, they're not taking the stackers into account. They're taking the judging into account. So, um, so the main, po so the, so for example, the, the phrase, evolution of sports stacking, that basically means people getting faster, um, brand new equipment to make to help people get faster. And the fact that they've reset world records, yes, re yes, reset world records, you heard me right, is disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. Well, I say they haven't really reset, they've called them legacy records, but they've practically reset them. Like, why? Also, I'm actually going to leave a link to Kian Lynch's video on the WSSA Monopoly down in the description. Because he described the WSSA as a monopoly, which would be like something... I, I can't remember what it means. Um, but if you watch his video, then you'll understand. Um, but it's like... To put it in simple terms, it's bribing people to, to buy stuff or doing stuff so they can have money, so they can become a rich business. And they've done that by um, el by excluding logoless cups from competitions by making them illegal to be used in competitions. And now they're forcing people to buy new t uh, th this new timer and they're slowing people down. 
I think there might be a few solutions to this, but I don't know. Um, just say if you disagree with me. I think if we had an extra judge or maybe a few extra cameras from maybe like the sky or maybe like in front to the side, then that would work, to be fair. And also if maybe this might be going a bit too far, but if the if the WSSA maybe had like a rule stating that the cups should be a certain distance away from the timer. So one, stacking doesn't become too awkward, and two, you can eliminate those problems. Like, actually, I think they should have done that in the first place, instead of bringing in all this new stuff. So, um, for now, that's all my opinions on the new G5 timer. If you enjoyed this video, um, then leave a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'm going to also put Kian Lynch's video link to the WSA Monopoly thing um, that he did in the description. So, goodbye.